Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe. So, in today's video I'm going to be speaking about why I became a YouTuber to begin with, because it's something I thought you'd be interested in. Um, it's not going to be the usual reaction video, because I didn't really get enough recommendations and I didn't really find anything interesting to react to. So, um, about 10 years ago, I created my first channel called The Piano Loving Reader. I'm not sure whether it had a different name back then. Um, I'm not sure. I, I changed it multiple times. I'm pretty sure it was a popular egg at one point. Or something like Piano Loving Reader Fun and Games. It went through many changes. Anyway, on that channel I, I would upload videos about me playing the piano or speaking about books I used to enjoy or trying to make... Um, presentations to show my bookmark collection or to let you know about the Reading Rush books I'd pick for the year because my parents wouldn't really allow me to show my face on the internet because it, I, I was only about 9 or 10 years old so as a precaution they, they thought it would be best for me to not show my face and then I discovered um, the games I could upload because I could record my screen with a screen recorder app and I would upload um, Slither.io videos and Hexar.io videos and pixel art videos but those never really got any views or never helped me with getting any subscribers whatsoever and I eventually resorted to sub for sub until I got about 650 subscribers so that's how I have so many subscribers on my main channel basically Apart from, obviously, sharing and begging my friends to subscribe, you know, to get more followers and uh, more audience retention. Then it was only about three years ago when I decided to make this channel called um, Same Slide Video Daily, where I would upload the same video for an entire year, you know, of me sliding a bottle down a slide. Because that was uh, an idea of my father's, because he never really believed that I would be famous on YouTube. Not that I am yet, anyway. But um, I thought it would be a good idea to prove him wrong. And anyway, in about a year, I got like 2,750 views from just uploading the same video on a daily basis. It would get longer and longer on a on a daily basis because of the, the edits, you know. But it would have a different title every day depicting a, kind of like an autobiography, you know, of the perhaps the saddest year of my life when the pandemic struck about... Once again, yeah, three years ago, the first few videos were me playing Brawl Stars with my brother and I had the intention of speaking solely in Maltese because there aren't many channels on YouTube which do that and I thought I would stand out and therefore get more retention, but that didn't work out either. So I then started to make memes, I suppose, and then I discovered OBS Studio where I started to basically record my reactions to cupcake songs and the the first cupcake video you know it was a tiktok video actually it got 20,000 views which is quite impressive and it's something that has never happened to me before so i'm very pleased that you've been watching it basically day and night i'm very grateful for that and anyway 10 years later i have about 270 subscribers on this new channel and I hope to continue making the reaction videos you will enjoy, reacting to Cupcake, reacting to basically anything else you'd like me to, perhaps some Gordon Ramsay, some popular channels, and hopefully my my goal of making money from YouTube will eventually come to fruition, hopefully by the end of the year, because I don't really enjoy doing the course at university I am, so becoming financially free from making YouTube videos would be hilarious and would prove my parents wrong. And I'm sure it's a, a dream of many people out there to become financially stable through YouTube. But I genuinely believe that I have a chance to do that because I feel like I am very well spoken. You know, I read a lot, as you can probably tell. And I have been doing this for a long time, so... I believe that it should work out if I do this consistently enough. You know, listen to what my comment commenters have to say about my channel, you know, 
Um, I really appreciate constructive criticism and I dislike hate comments. You know, obviously nobody enjoys reading those. But, you know, I try to take it all with a pinch of salt, try to be optimistic as much as possible and continue enjoy doing this for myself because it's it's a stress relief method for me, you know, to, to sit there, record to somebody being a doofus or somebody doing something that's interesting or entertaining and just sharing my thoughts here and there every few seconds. So that's that's basically why I became a YouTuber, you know. It has been a very stressful three years, I'm not going to lie. I'm doing English and communication studies at university. And um, as I've mentioned, I'm not really happy with the course. University of Malta kind of sucks. And um, I, I try not to be hateful as much as possible because I'm trying to be more optimistic, you know, to preserve my own mental health. But yeah, doing this for a full time job would be pretty cool. You know, I'd be able to move out of my parents' home. I'm still 20 years old after all, but the the sooner the better because I need a better place to record my videos. And um, that's that's basically it. I hope you could also check out my main channel apart from this one, you know. I, I changed the name of this channel multiple times as well until it finally settled to Wasabi Fan 0802. I think that's how it's going to be for the, the long run because 0802 is my birthday and um, Wasabi Fan, it's, it's basically... Something which I enjoy eating, you know, wasabi is pretty cool because it makes me cry and my eyes are pretty dry all the time from not being emotional at all. So if you have any questions about this channel, do let me know in the comments. I try to answer or reply to every comment as long as it's not hate, you know, I try to interact with everybody who seems to be interested in what I do. And I've been meeting a lot of great people recently, which I am extremely grateful for. So thank you for watching, do subscribe, comment, like and share with your friends because why not you have absolutely nothing to do, nothing better to do anyway, and it's completely free, so you have nothing to lose. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.